One of the encounters that I had with my father, right, when I was getting recruited, I remember I was on my porch, right? I was on my porch, and if you could see me, I was sitting on my porch, and in my hand was a bag, a bag full of letters, right? Full of letters. And I'm sitting on my porch waiting for my dad to show up. And, and, and what's about to take place is like I'm, I'm hoping that this one moment, this one encounter was going to change everything. And so I'm sitting there, and I'm waiting for him to pull up, and he finally pull up. And I'm kind of nervous, right? I'm kind of nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. And so I have this bag in my hand, and I have a letter. I pull this letter out. I have this letter. And my father get out of his car, and he walk up the step. I'm excited, and I'm nervous. Because in my hand is a letter that a university offered me a scholarship. And so I'm like, man, if I give him this letter, he got to love me now. Right? He, he, th this has to be the thing that calls us to connect with one another. But I tell you, fellas, I gave him the letter. He looked at the letter. Then he looked at me. Then he looked at the letter. And then he looked at me. And his response to me was, you too small. You can't make it there, you too small. Bruh, how, how, Sway, how, right? So, so this is the thing, man, is that for a large part of my life, I allowed those words of him telling me I'm too small, I believed them. If some of you are in here right now, somebody done told you that you're too small. And I'm not talking about in stature, but they done told you that you're not good enough. And let me tell you something. It's only a problem if you believe it. You have a choice. You, 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 you have a choice at this moment to where you can say, you know what? I believe the lies that they are saying to me. Well, I'm going to choose from this moment forward to live the life that I know that I deserve.